welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2 Weekly. What a week it's been. My friends, I've just survived COVID for the second time. Oh, so if anybody watches my channel um, for my other uh, series, sorry, I uh, didn't have episodes this week, couldn't record. It started out in my throat, because like a uh, sore throat, couldn't really talk, didn't have much voice. And then it turned into the full-blown fever, body aches, chills. And then I had zero energy for a few days. Fortunately, I was already on vacation from work, so that was good. But I tested positive for COVID on my birthday, so happy birthday to me. That was August 8th. Uh, please don't put that on your calendar. I don't need more birthday stuff. But anywho, the good news is, while I was down and out... I was able to get quite a bit done, uh, so let's take a look and see what all I've accomplished here. I accidentally spoke with Anessa at one point while I was trying to use a crafting table, so I turned in the quest, and now the next thing is to check the tablet for more. Also side note, if you hear a cat meowing in the background, we adopted a new cat at the beginning of the week, the day before I tested positive. And yes, the people we test or we adopted the cat from tested, and they tested negative, so they're good. But oh boy, this cat is deeply offended by closed doors, and I have to be behind a closed door to record this so I don't wake up my son. Anyway, first of all, I kind of already went past a bit of it, but here's the walkway updated now with steps. Uh, do you like my entryway? I don't know what you call that on a castle. But I did some um, barricades around the top, or whatever those are called. It started out with noticing that the door, the, the portcullis that I put in, extended through the bricks above. So I started just by making an open space up there. And then I was like, well, now it looks like a giant rectangle. So I decided to extend it. Oh, on the inside, there's staircases up on both sides come up here. Whoop, be careful. This is the short side. That side's a little closed in. We'll get there in a minute. Then you can come all the way up and around here and stand on the top and look out, you know, at who's coming to visit before they're allowed entry. Like, theoretically speaking. I know there's not gameplay mechanics for that. Anyway, extended up the walls around there, made some bedrooms in here. There's a door there that just opens into a basic room with some monster beds for monster friends. Yeah, for monster enemies, I have a sword. There we go. Uh, bedrooms with name plaques. Over here, I've got a kitchen. And that can be accessed via just a door. It's actually a cafeteria because I've got all the pieces and bits and bobs needed for that. Uh, down here, I have the beginnings of a stairway. I want to make a basement eventually, but decided not to go too all in on that in case the game has me build a basement later. Um, back here, I haven't done anything back here actually. On this side, we've got some baths. Over here, a couple of bathrooms. Oh, look, people have been pooping great. And over here, an actual, like, bath room. Not a bathroom. Not a toilet room. You know what I mean. And one last thing on the ground floor. I built the Moonbrook Chapel blueprint and extended it uh, to the size of this room. You can see up there just kind of a little bit of a peak. I might roof this in later. Or I haven't decided yet. And just to show, yeah, the stained glass windows go all the way to the outside. Now the throne room, because this was the tricky bit from last episode that wasn't quite cooperating. It's shrunk. I made it smaller. Much smaller. Just the purple tiles. And up here. And up here's the town roster as well. Over on this side, I've got an empty room and a mostly empty room. 
I made this Babs's room just because I had a odd number of people and there was a princess bed. I want to make this the princess bedroom eventually. And over here, the king's bedroom, or my bedroom as this as it is. I figure a good king is well read. It's got lots of reading material. Got a little cupboard here. Nothing in it at the moment. Got some storage. You know, just your basic kind of stuff, but a little fancier than your average room since it is king's quarters. And then a little side door here that comes down into a room with a table. And back out here. And that's what I've got for the castle. I have also put in quite a bit of work on my trap gauntlet. Well, I showed off the basics of it last time. But look, iron flooring. I remembered. Oh, you know what? I was going to fill in the rest of this with spikes. So I did forget one small thing, but monsters are pretty well obliterated once they come in here. Except flying ones. I need more, um, more of the feathers to make more whoosh widgets to bring them down earlier on. But anyway, any of these buttons will trigger the fire, all the fire for that level. And the buttons closest to the freeze traps also trigger the freeze. And look, outside there's stairs. Uh, Navi Fairy, one of my viewers, recommended making it kind of like those uh, mouse traps or, or bug roach, ro roach hotels, whatever, where it's easy to get in, hard to get out. So the scorpion's going to give a great example. Boom. He's gone. Wyverns are still a little tricky because they fly. Again, need whoosh widgets. I'm going to put one here and one here, something like that. And then like, oops, another one here and here or something just so flying enemies are knocked down and hopefully damaged uh, to all the way to death before they can get at me. And this way my villagers, as long as they're coming from a reasonable area, will be able to come down the gauntlet and, you know, no friendly fire so they're safe and fight enemies in here without getting out onto the beach. That of course remains to be seen because I think I've seen them coming down off the cliffside, but we'll find out soon enough. And of course there's ballistas over here too. I think I covered all the traps last time, but the iron flooring and the easy in, difficult out is what I've changed since then. So yeah, let's uh, head over to our tablet and continue the story. This reminds me of something that I wanted to do, though. Apologies, I'm going to take just a moment. I never did go back and reestablish this, which I wanted to. Just something so it doesn't look like the tablet's floating in midair anymore. There. Now I'm satisfied. My OCD. Again, self-diagnosed. Not an actual diagnosis. Told me to go pick up those blocks. Hello. Yes, I see you aggroing me. There. Oh, you know what? It's getting to be nighttime. I don't want to worry about ghosts. I, uh, that's another thing I didn't do. I'd like to blame the COVID brain fog, but we all know that I'm just kind of a little bit forgetful. I didn't light my castle at all. So ghosts are still a concern. That said, 
It's not a problem if it's not nighttime. So my thought with the royal bedchamber was eventually I would like to... I don't know how I would make it work, but have a window over here. And a window over here. So that I could look out, like, over the dominion, so to speak, over the sea. Also, depending on what the game has me do with building the castle, I'm thinking I might build a passageway between the two rooms and, like, an a secret escape out the back, just because that seems like something that a king would have. Like, Your Majesty, the castle's under attack at 3 in the morning. Your king's in bed. Oh no, what are we going to do? Use the secret chamber to escape out the back. Well, the soldiers fight. You know, that kind of thing. Used up all my fried eggs, so now I'm on to eating spaghetti. Oh, I guess I did light the stairway down, which was a very silly thing to light, but whatever. I'll add more lighting next time I'm working between episodes and I'm bothered by ghosts. Come on then. You wanna taste my steel? Well, good luck, because I'm not very accurate with it. Okay. There, now he's low enough. Interesting. Hey! I have a bad feeling that either Lulu and or the Hairy Hermit are the ones pulling the strings and like communicating with Malroth. See, that makes me less suspicious of Lulu. But Lulu came off the boat with me and Malroth, right? So that already makes her sus. And the Hairy Hermit is, in fact, a monster. But we're friends with monsters, so I can't say for sure he's, like, the guy. But I, I can't say he's not sus. I don't know. <laughs> See, now that would be fun. That's something I could do, like, between episodes to show off at the end. All these things that I've just coincidentally done. Oh my goodness, so many. It can't just do it all at once, can it? What 
this time. Oh. Okay. I guess that's all for now. Of, uh, completed targets, anyway. That was ridiculous. I feel like I just beat the final boss with a fanfare like that. Yeah, everybody over in um, the garden will definitely have their size um, preference met because I made like apartments over there. <laughs> Cat's room still looks like uh, Master Corin from Dragon Ball. Hairstyles. Might have to check that out. Okay. Need to make more rooms. I need to make a spa resort. I tried to make a spa resort, but I guess it wasn't uh, exactly what the game had in mind. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, that one's easy. Snowfield is easy, too. Different... Oh, did you hear the cat? She's meowing at my door. I can't open the door either like I did for my other cat. And we still have the other cat, too. We've got two now. Um, my old cat, Badger, would just come in and lay by my feet and just be happy and content. But this new cat, Luna, is so vocal. It's always just meow, 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 wow, wow, wow. Oh, gosh. All night long. She's a little under a year old, we think. And she's never been to a vet. Um, we, like I said, we just adopted her and then immediately had COVID, so we haven't been able to leave the house. Uh, but we're taking her to a vet as soon as possible to get uh, vaccinations, tests, microchip, uh, spay, uh, and we're hoping the spay calms her down a little bit. Don't think she's in heat, but we know she's already had one litter of kittens, and it's like, oh my gosh, these terrible, irresponsible people are just like, <sighs> yeah, we're, we're giving this cat a very good, comfortable home. <laughs> well, not a forever home because we're planning to move in a couple of years, but a forever family. She'll be absolutely coming with us when we go to the new place. And she'll be an indoor cat. She's litter trained, so that makes things very easy. Anyway, moving on. Um, I'm missing an animal. What animal am I missing? I have a cat, a dog, a, a few chickens, and at least one sheep. Huh, I'll have to keep my eye open. And then I don't know what the other ones are. And I guess the build the castle being at 100% means I now have free reign of the castle. So I will definitely get busy uh, adding a basement and some cool stuff down there. Maybe I'll change this whole mess into something else so that I can make more customizable size appropriate rooms for everyone. Oh, hey, come back here. Come back here. I want my hearts. Ah, where'd he go? Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Ha. There we go. <sighs> anyway, I feel as though 
All of that is a task for the between times. Because we're here for content. For story content, I should say. That's my intent. The content intent. As occasionally we'll have building episodes, but mostly I want to keep the series a little more focused on story. Uh, I realized that if I get all the way through 2023 without finishing this, that I'll have almost three years of playing this game. Like, oh my gosh. I probably could have slammed through it a lot faster if I'd done like, I don't know, three, four episodes a week, but I've really been enjoying savoring this game. It's been fantastic to just kind of slow burn, play a little bit every week, really absorb stuff. Yeah, I like the pace is what I'm saying. First of all, we'll trade in the mini metals before we do anything potentially game altering. A blockhead. A red rose. Ooh, liquid metal shields. Nice. However, oh, my magic shield is only plus 24. That liquid metal shield is definitely higher, plus 40. I will lose the fire and ice resistance, but for that great of an increase in defense, I think I'm going to have to take it. Now let's see if I can make it here, if I'm going to have to go to one of my other ateliers. Um, well, that does not look promising. <laughs> Machinery, equipment. Alright. Over here at Green Gardens, I added one more tiny little thing. Oh. And also, I got in the habit of just walking on these instead of taking a train cart. Do you hear the cat? She's meowing again. Wow, 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 wow. Like, my wife is out there to keep her company. She's got all the pets and food and water she could ever want, but no, well, she's just gonna come and holler at my door. What a silly kitty. She loves playing with our kid, and our kid is having a great time having a playful kitten around. Oh boy. Okay, so I got totally distracted and came the wrong way, but... Par for the course around here, don't you know? I think I mentioned it last time, but I reassigned the um, mech robot to this area. He's a great harvester. Look at all this that's been harvested. Sheesh. Uh, I've been stealing the spaghetti, but I don't see any spaghetti prepared right now. But yeah, you get the idea of how efficient that mech is. It's awesome. The reason I came here is my atelier has now, oh, there he is, uh, now, has now, now has, anyway, there's a wizard's table in here, and I still can't make the metal slime shield, okay, I guess I need an anvil, in that case, it's always in the last place you look, isn't it? In this case, not only because it's the last place I look, if I find it I wouldn't look anywhere else, obviously, but also, this is the last place available to look. 
Brarg to you too, Saber Cat. Nice to see you. Oh. Here there be eggs. Okay, Brittany. I'm glad you thought it was lit, fam. Uh. Well, there's certainly a lot of eggs. They're about to have more. Let me just replenish their egg supply. Okay. Up we go. Atelier. Metal slime shield. Liquid metal shield. Got plenty of stuff for it. Just looking at all the other ones here. Am I still wearing... What am I wearing these days? The magic armor? Yeah, magic armor, which is 48. Um... 54, 56. Yeah, I think it's time to upgrade my armor as well. And then I think I still have the best weapon. Um, that falcon blade is mighty nice to hit twice. Blade so nice, it slices twice. Um, but that's an 84 compared to the mountain cleaver I'm using now, which is 82. So... Well, the Falcon Blade, I guess, has more potential for crit, because it's probably two rolls. Now I'll just stick with my Mountain Cleaver. Okay, equip, equip. I can tuck those away. Now let's check out the new digs. Aw, oh, yeah. Looking good. Now, if I remember right, over here I built myself a party room. Oh yeah. But you know what I didn't put in here? Is a changing station? Or what are they called? The, the vanities? One of these. Um. Like, I don't want to change the color. I want to change the style. There's the blockhead we just got. That's funny. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad, but it's not what I'm going for. Oh, look, I'm basically trunks. I wear glasses IRL. Should I put these on? So when it said there's new hairstyles available, I guess the guys still don't get very many hairstyles. Either that, or there's somewhere else where I would change it that I'm not aware of. Yeah. Alright, well, no change. Let's go talk to the Hairy Hermit and see what happens. what I'm worried about is your memories. Oh. 
Oh? Alright, I mean, I'm here for the lore and the story. What do you need me to build? pretty easy compared to some of the other stuff I've done. Ah, yes, this area up here. I've been curious about this. like a samp samp sample. Nice. something that I place. How about I put it there? Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with a bunch of these. Blue or navy? Oh, navy's good. I think I actually wanted navy. I have an idea, and I don't know how long it's going to take to make. So, let's do a... a cut in the video. And I'll see ya again when my pattern is done. Alright. One sick cut later. My emblem is complete. So, I was going to play this off as, oh, this was my plan all along, but real talk, uh, what I thought I wanted to do, I looked up how other folks had done it in 16 by 16 and um, it was kind of ugly. So the emblem of Erdrich, that, you know, the bird with its spread wings in gold and uh, um, the red gem in the middle, I really wanted to do that, but doesn't translate well into 16 by 16 pixels, essentially. But you know what does? Game Boy sprites. So, in homage to another one of my absolute favorite games of all time, da na na na, it's Link from the color version of Link's Awakening, holding up an item with both hands, and a dark blue background because I like blue and I think it really pops with the green all right I am quite happy to put that on my flag I'm just pleased it's punch with how it looks to be perfectly honest Okay, now I wish I had done, like, a red background. Oh. 
two things. One, I can take that with me. Two, if I do this, does it change? It doesn't seem to change. Okay. Because I was hoping to change the blue background red just so it matches the rest of my um, banner. But that's not strictly necessary. I guess it's fine. Why is there a ghost over there in broad daylight? Okay, I guess it was just despawning. So, like, right about there? <laughs> the Link Sprite looks like it's puckering, like it just ate a really sour candy. In retrospect, maybe I should have done Chrono's head from Chrono Trigger. Nah. I like Link's Awakening better than Chrono Trigger, sorry. I love Chrono Trigger, don't get me wrong, the game is beautiful, wonderful. My name is not my two favorite games, by the way, just my two favorite PS1 JRPGs. Chrono Cross, Legend of Dragoon. Chrono Trigger, I just didn't have when I was younger. Uh, I got it when it was remade on the DS, and so I've played all the way through it, but I don't have a nostalgic attachment to that game quite so much. Anyway. <laughs> yep, that, that's what we're here for. Magic, the, the, the hermit just kind of willed it into existence. I designed it, but I didn't make it, which feels a little odd. Yeah, Anessa. Yeah, you, you nailed it. Uh huh, and that's why I don't like the name Kingdom of Chrono. I thought we were calling it Lulutopia. I wouldn't call it that either. I want to call it Bonanzo and Jerome get off my island. The kingdom. Just kidding. They're dislikable to me, but... <sighs> Takes all different kinds to make the world go around, right? just realized what the Harry Hermit speech pattern reminds me of when he said Mal Mal Malroth. There's these old commercials and I don't know if the company still uses the same thing or if they even still make the toy. Uh, there was a drivable car series when I was a kid. It was like cars for kids but not roadworthy like you know golf cart kind of style but even less powerful than a golf cart and they were called Power Wheels. At least the ones marketed for boys were. The ones marketed for girls were uh, outside my notice, if I'm perfectly honest. But anyway, the commercials for those old Power Wheels, the announcer would sing, Pow, Pow, Power Wheels. And so, the Harry Hermit reminds me of that. It took me all this time to make that click. Mal, 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 Roth. The 
Yes, that happened in Dragon Quest 2. And then we killed Malroth. Well, Saito in my version. Uh, after that. Okay. I despise these text boxes. I think I've made that very clear. But these. Unskippable unshortenable text boxes are just they grind my gears I guess is what I'm saying There's Hargon. Yeah, huh. Supposed to be. plot hole. After the Scions succeeded in slaying Mauroth slash Saito, Hargon was already dead. How can you seal away the soul after the slaying that you died before? We're just moving on. Like, I mean, Malroth was dead dead. He gave his life so that... Not Malroth, uh, Hargon was dead dead. He gave his life so Malroth slash Saito could be revived. Like, all of his life force went into that rebirth. Not, not his life, not his spirit, not his consciousness. His life force. Okay, so I guess the version of Hargon that existed here in this world that he created before the final confrontation was able to seal Mauroth slash Saito's soul from the real world into the illusory world? That would make more sense. blood, my friend. Y'all were cultists and mass murderers. <laughs> that was a very justified thing, let me tell ya. Shoot, I should have done one of the Game Boy sprites from Dragon Quest 2. I was not thinking. Oh well. I like my Link flag. take pride in being hideous. Writhe. We don't care what you think.
Was Harry Hermit supposed to be your player character from Dragon Quest Builders 1? Let's go stop him. Then maybe Link from Link's Awakening was the perfect avatar. If this is like Koholint and it's all gonna fade away. I named my Animal Crossing New Leaf, or uh, not New Leaf, New Horizons Island Koholint because I knew one day I would wake from that dream and the island would be forgotten and fade away into nothingness and I just now thought about that island for the first time in months. Wow. Self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm glad I never got my last dreamy, Anka. After Anka Zone came out, do not Google that. If you have to look it up, look it up on YouTube or Google with Safe Search. Anka Zone, A N K H A is a. Well, let me let me back up. Anka, A N K H A, is a villager in the Animal Crossing series. She's a yellow cat with an Egyptian theme. Very cool. Um, somebody made a, a very naughty animation of her and the player character um, with nothing left to the imagination. So that's what you don't want to see. Um, but if you look up some of the clean versions, like the music is really catchy. But um, yeah, Google carefully on that one. Makes me glad I never did find Anka. I got a village full of all the characters that I wanted, but if I'd ever found Anka, I would have let her come in in exchange for someone else. Hermit's ball. Take that how you will. Yay! Oh, Builder's Soul. That's much more polite. No, oh, no. I can go into my inventory. Ah, there we go. Okay. So well then, Lulu, it's a soul. Perhaps it can. Hmm.
Yes, that's what I've been trying to do for like the last six episodes. Or more. D yes! I don't even need to consider that question. Okay. I'll speak to everyone with a dot. Rosie, you first. Can I just pull a Herman Cain here and quote Mewtwo at y'all? I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. Like, who cares where you came from, how you were born? You know, hey, audience, don't tell me this, but ask yourself, were you born uh, naturally? Were you born via C-section? It doesn't matter. You are still born. You still came into the world, and you're a perfectly valid living human being a very, very real and true life who has had experiences and has memories has done stuff and has made an impact on the world and on others no matter how small so who cares if these people were dreamed up as illusions stupid Hargon gave them all free will he hasn't been you know, the dungeon master acting out every single one of every single character's most minute actions. The, the, the free will thing means that, illusion or not, their lives were real. They actually happened. If the world gets wiped out, hey, guess what? In like 20 billion years, our planet's going to collide with the sun. Nothing we do today actually matters. Get used to it. But for the time that we're given and the time that we have visibility we have validity of existence. So it doesn't matter where we came from or where we're going. Living is its own reason for being. This has been Philosophy 101 with Chrono. I am not accredited in any way, shape, or form. Do not quote me in your college papers. Thank you very much. Back to the game. The backs of your biceps, are you sure? Now, do you mean the back like the back of your arm? Or the back of the bicep muscle? Because how would you know what the back of your bicep muscle looks like? It's inside you. Ugh. I shouldn't take anything that Digby and Dougie say too deeply. They're just saying things. They don't have to be smart. They're pure. That's what I care about. That's another thing. You don't have to be smart. Don't let anyone tell you you need to be smart or skilled or talented or cool or special or anything in any sort of way. Your validity of its existence comes with the validity of however you are. It's fine. Just don't be a butthole and don't hurt other people. The end. You swear on your dad's life, but isn't he right there behind you? Also, isn't his life an illusion? Well, it's still valid. We just went over this. Yes. Yes, I am, Anessa. <sighs> I 
It was partly you, Anessa, yes. But it was also that other guy. I've already forgotten his name. The one who turned out to be a traitor. He was the one who got Malroth put in that dungeon. And you may have, you know, abetted him, but it's not on you, Anessa. We were all deceived, including Malroth. Yes, I mean, I would love to have some NPC assistance, but I am level 30, so I guess it's cool. that's left is to wait another week because that's going to do it for this episode friends we're right at an hour i do want to say i will be out of town this coming week so because of that and covid i don't have episodes prepared uh, for either of my other series um, i do have youtube shorts scheduled and ready to go of pokemon tcg pack openings but yeah bear with me and uh, dragon quest builders 2 will return next weekend I'm actually not sure yet if it's gonna be um, Saturday or Sunday I fly home Friday night so actually you know what that's absolutely not gonna work for Saturday so yeah it'll be Sunday next week no I can hmm 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 hmm, hmm. let me think about it anyway enough of that it'll be either Saturday or Sunday but there will be an episode next weekend in which we dive in and go see what's happening on the other side of this portal. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it helps the video get seen and the channel to keep growing. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I just talked about what I do, but I do Dragon Quest Builders 2. I do uh, Legend of Dragoon, Katamari Reroll. Uh, we love Katamari specifically. And Pokemon TCG card openings um as shorts so if any of that sounds like your cup of tea go ahead and subscribe ring the bell for notifications of when i upload a new video and once again thank you so much for bearing with me through the sickness and thank you so much for watching this video i'm really looking forward to a big climactic battle next time so i hope to see you then bye <laughs>